What led you to the U.S. Army, especially since your father was in the Air Force? I'm surprised he let you get into the Army. Wow. You know, that's a, a great question. And, you know, I love the story. And so, again, growing up a military family, Air Force, you know, military brat, um, you know, born in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, White Sands, Missile Range, my dad. And after I was born, we went to Misawa Air Force Base in Japan, um, New Mexico, and then Japan for three years. And then we came here to uh, the national capital area, Washington, D.C., Maryland area, uh, when I was four years old. Um, the entire time, you know, dad did 20 years in the Air Force, retired, and then he was a, a capital police officer and retired again. The entire time, my dad would, would just talk about, uh, you got to get your commission. You be a commission officer, you know, going to reserves, you know, that is something special. My dad had achieved the level of, of uh, tech sergeant, um, E6, and talked about, you know, the struggles of him getting promoted, but yet seeing officers was something that he thought was really a, a great achievement, um, regardless of race, creed, or color, you know, just the leadership aspect. My dad is also from New York, White Plains, New York, and went to White Plains High School, and West Point is not too far, you know, from White Plains. And so my dad, all I heard growing up is, you're going to go to West Point, you're going to go to West Point. You know, yeah, you need to go to West Point. And, and at the time, you know, I wanted nothing to do with the military. I, I would tell, Dad, I am not going in the military. I, I want people telling me what to do. I'm not standing in lines. I'm not wearing a uniform. No, no, no. When I got to high school, you know, I was heavily recruited. And VMI came to, you know, recruit. And my dad and I received the pitch. This was the time where VMI was getting ready to go co-ed. These are the 80s. And so as they're getting ready to go co-ed, I knew they were still all male. So the coach did his pitch, and, and I asked a question. I said, uh, do, you ha do you guys have girls there? And he said, nope. And I said, I'm not going to school with a whole bunch of dudes. No way in the world, not me. My dad blew a gasket. I mean, he was hot, you know, and um, maddest he's ever been at me. And he said, you're, you're throwing away opportunity to be a commission officer and, you know, gave me the, the rundown. And so I, I went to my dad, and I said, hey, look, Dad, I promise you, if you allow me to go to the school that I want to go to, I will take ROTC. I promise you. Just get off my back, please. And, and that's, that's what started the path. And, um, you know, I ended up going to Morgan State University uh, in Baltimore, Maryland, and I took ROTC, ran track, played football, and I wasn't the best cadet because I was always gone, you know, playing, you know, uh, Division I athletics. And uh, I was bitten by the bug, I think, my junior year. Uh, my junior year is when uh, it finally turned. You know, my goal was, hey, I'm going to go to professional football. We're going to Dallas and Pittsburgh out of Morgan as a defensive back. I'll try out, play a few years, and then I'll come back and go to law school. I was a sociology and English major, and I was going to be a lawyer. Well, when I went to the basic camp, um, that's when I realized that I was good at the military. I graduated number one um, in my cycle, you know, about 2,000 uh, cadets, two to 3,000 cadets, and I graduated the top of, of the entire camp. Um, and I had fun doing it. That was my first time putting it all together that, wait a minute, the Army is just like sports. Uh, there's a leader, there's a team, and the whole team has to get the ball across the goal line or finish together or win together. Um, that transition where I ultimately ended up coming in on active duty uh, for went my senior year and came into the military because I had to kind of grow up and take care of some responsibilities that, that I got myself into, and the rest was history. 